hello welcome back to another video uh today i actually have something i haven't had in a while and it's a uh, new art to unbox um now the art uh this is you know as much as i say i i, I try to, to to plan out my purchases as as uh, as well as i can uh this is an uh, an auction win um now i try to not pay attention to too much of the 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 uh auction listings just because there's so much out there uh and and there's it's easy to you know the the more you look the more you can find something to buy and uh so i really try to you know not look um but there were some recently there were some pages uh um i, I knew i wasn't going to be able to, to to score them uh but i was interested in uh seeing you know what they would sell for uh there were a few there was a, a dan jurgens and brett breeding page from uh superman 81 uh the uh, uh return to superman and then there was also uh, a Tom Grummet and uh, Doug Hazelwood page from Adventures of Superman 502, which is a, um, a Superboy uh, page. And I just was kind of curious to see where uh, where they landed. I was talking with uh, some friends while you know the auction was going on, and uh, my friend Bill said, "Hey, did you see this page?" And uh, I was like, "Oh, Bill." <laughs> so that's the page that I ended up going after and and winning. So. You know, again, if I hadn't been talking about the pages, I, I wouldn't have seen this page and uh, I would not own this page. So whatever. It is what it is. It definitely fits the collection. And uh, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll open this up and then we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about it. So and actually um, <laughs> an update on the nails. Uh, you know, my, my six year old daughter had painted my nails for uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day. I was talking to her yesterday, last night after she got home from school. And uh, I said, oh, you know, I, you know, I'm thinking about maybe, maybe taking this off soon. And she said, oh, great. I, you can, we can, we can uh, maybe over the weekend, she said, I can take them off and we can paint your nails another color. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And I'll uh, keep you updated. So, uh, all right. So uh, lots of packaging. This is my first time buying from um, Comic Connect. Um, I, uh, next. um, I wasn't too familiar with their auction, uh, process and it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, it's great for, um, sellers, uh, because, and, and, and in some ways it's, it's good for buyers too, because, uh, there's no, you can't, uh, snipe, you can't do like a last minute snipe uh, of an auction. And, um, what happens is if you bid in the last, what is it like, like last, two minutes plus three minutes of the auction uh if you place a bid it resets to uh three minutes again so then it, it counts down from there and then that way you can you know pages will go what they will go for um plus minus it, it uh, the longer the battle goes on sometimes you 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 get more aggressive and you're like okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm getting this page and that can drive prices up um but also you can't then you can't say like oh well it should have gone higher because there was every opportunity for those bids to be placed so um it's interesting it, it, um I, but it's just it also speaks to the again like i just i don't i don't love auctions i just i just don't uh, you can kind of get caught in the moment uh place bids i mean i didn't i didn't go too high uh, i mean i didn't think i went too high on this one um I went slightly higher than what I wanted to go, but that again, it's like, well, you set your limit, and then what I typically do is like I set my limit, and then say, okay, well, if if I could do one more, <laughs> one more past the limit, and then we'll we'll see how it goes. And that's what happened here. I set set a number in mind, and then I went to that. I got outbid, and I get one more bid, and um, and then I won it. So, um, what is going on? Um, okay, so, yeah, okay, this is cool, again, I always say that, but, um, let's see, let's get the tape off of here, sorry, pause for a minute there just to, just to take it in, um, now this is something that I have been, this, uh, is an example that I've been after for, uh, for a while, um, I have, I've had, um, panel pages with this, uh, this character on it before, and um, I've liked them, but I've also sold them off. Um, I've still got I have one more in my collection, 
but I always wanted to, to, to upgrade it. Um, and that, and now I, I feel like I did that with this purchase. So, okay. So let's get this out of the bag. It is a page from Superman issue 131 by Ron Friends and ink by Joe Rubenstein. And it is my boy, Electric Blue Superman. So, uh, yeah, you know, it seems to go in, in, uh, in phases. You know, I picked up some color guides uh, a while ago. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then now, now this popped up. So so yeah. So Bill Bill said, "Hey, did you see that that, that friends uh, splash page?" And I said, "No, I I, I did not." Um, and then yeah. So now 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 I own it. I I love these kind of pages with the that's 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 interesting. They changed the um, the, the word balloons are pasted on there, and uh, they I don't know if you can see if you can get it in the light, but um, it's a paste up, and then but then they changed the shape of it. So when, when uh, Rubenstein was inking it, he inked it to make it, instead of a speech bubble, made it a, a thought bubble. And then, so there's like inked over the, the pasted on bubble. I don't know how, I don't know what, when, what stage of the inking that would have been done, but that's, that's cool. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, yeah. So uh, in this story, it's a very, actually this issue is a very uh, Lex Luthor heavy issue and Superman's not in it that much. He's in a couple, couple pages. Um, the, the, he uh, he assists the military in retrieving a like a satellite uh, that is uh, you know in the, in the ocean. So he just dives into the into the ocean or the, the bay to get uh, to go down to get the satellite. And there's some sharks swimming around it there. Um, I just thought this was even though it's like not like a uh, you know head on shot. Um, I just loved the the the, the you know the, the splashiness the splashiness of it. Um, you know, I guess pun intended because that's these in the water. Uh, but I love the you know the the electric crackle um, around him, and uh, I just love that kind of just swooping kind of pose down into the into the water. Um, it's 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 somewhat reminiscent of the uh, uh, Superman one uh, pose, which is actually I, I don't know if I, I still don't think I've shown that 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 piece. Um, but uh, uh, I will. I'll put it put it right there. Um, a commission that I had. Uh, uh, Ron Friends do, and actually was it was then inked by Joe Rubenstein as well. Uh, so there's some similarity similarities there, uh, but I I I just this one just spoke to me. I I love the design. Uh, uh, you know, people will say what they will about about that era of the stories, the Electric Superman, um, but it, it is there's no denying that the the uh, the suit design is super sleek and and very very cool, um, and I I absolutely love it. And then this was like later on in the uh in the electric blue storyline uh he debuted in issue 123 this is issue 131 um i think not soon after this is when they did the um the red uh the red blue split so uh yeah so this is what would be one of the one of the last uh <laughs> solely blue uh superman splash pages but um uh, yeah i just uh, um anytime i can add something from this era to the to the collection um, uh, and, and it checks a box. I, I, I'm happy to, to do that. Uh, so even though I wasn't looking for it, um, I'm very pleased with, uh, with being able to, to, uh, pick this one up and add it, uh, to the collection. Uh, yeah, I just, I love that. And again, I don't, I, you know, I've talked about it before. I don't typically go for, uh, just splashy images. Like I, I, I tend to find pages that have you know, at least one kind of dominant, uh, image and then surrounded by some story, uh, storytelling elements, but it's just this one. It's just the, the having the, having all of the, the ink surrounding him, the, the dark of the water, um, and then just having his presence. So, uh, in your face on this page, um, couldn't help it. Had, had to go for it. And, and also shout out to Ron friends for, um, putting the signature, in a place that's, uh, now <laughs> that's a, <laughs> so sometimes artists will, you'll see it. They'll just sign a page wherever, wherever it fits, um, not interfering with the art. Um, I mean, if not interfering 
with, uh, they, they put it in like any open space that's, that's on the page. Now that could be right in the middle of the page. Um, and I, I don't prefer that at all. Um, but I do like how this one fits kind of naturally. It fits down here at the, the bottom of the page in that, that open, that open space. So, so that's, that's cool. Um, I've seen a few examples where I just, oh, I could just put it somewhere else, like not right in the middle of the page. Um, but you know, so be it. But and a lot of times that was also when these pages back when they were, you know, a $50 item, you know, uh, 20 years ago, whatever that was that they were, they were sold. Um, it wasn't, going to be this, you know, really expensive piece of art. Um, not that this was super, super expensive. Um, but like it, it there was a, a, I think a different mindset, uh, at the time, uh, as to, you know, what these were going to be worth or, you know, what value they had or, you know, whatever. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, yep. There's a, here's my look at the, the latest acquisition into the, into the, uh, the collection. And, you know, I, I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'll probably be good, be good on a, uh, Superman blue, uh, page for the for the collection now you know something that something that popped up again like a like a tom grummet uh i really liked the way that that, that tom uh drew the uh, electric superman so if something like something like that popped up um I'd, I'd have to you know consider it but um but this this actually you know this 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 works for me especially um uh, ron friends drew the the uh friends and rubenstein drew the debut of superman blue and um so so it's fitting to have, you know, the, the big example, a published example in my collection be, uh, from that creative duo. So, um, yeah, side note, there's also some really good, uh, Stuart Eminem, uh, Superman blue art as well. Um, now that doesn't, I mean, I, I, those, how do I say this? I love Eminem's work. Um, but I don't know that I need to have, um, a, a big splashy Eminem, uh, uh, piece in my collection just because I, I associate more the electric blue look with friends because that's how he, he was um that's when he debuted so um anyway it's also that's just the the again the mental gymnastics you try to tell yourself as a collector to rule out certain things uh that that are appealing to you but like oh no i, I, I don't need that i'll i'll you know i can do without that but if one was put in my face i saw one at a show and it was reasonably priced, I would have a hard time saying no. But until then, I will say I don't need something like that. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this one, and uh, I'll see you soon.